Hey guys, Kevin here, and today we are going to discuss the week one instructions. So I recorded this video to make it a little easier for you to understand the lessons. I understand that some of my students prefer reading and some of my students prefer listening. So I'm trying to do both. I still recommend, even after watching this video, to read everything, read everything carefully. I'm going to explain all the details here, but please read carefully because we also update this part of the module. So yeah, without further ado, let's begin. So instructions, I'm going to explain this line by line. Now, please read all the lessons and instructions carefully. Please answer all the activities. Please follow the one-sentence paragraph format when you submit your answers. What's the one-sentence paragraph format? The one-sentence paragraph format is one of... Oh, I see a typo there. But uh, the one-sentence paragraph format is the format that I'm going to teach you at lesson 6. And I'm also going to teach you the one sentence paragraph format in the very first lesson, um, the one with, where it says removing bad habits. So I'm going to go through all these activities and just teach you what you need to do. So one sentence paragraph format is explained in the lessons removing bad habits and one sentence paragraph on lesson six. Now, the minimum number of sentences for most of the writing exercise is 15 sentences. So if you're going to write something, just write until you hit the target number of sentences. So in a lot of cases, it's 15, but when you get to the final activities, you might um, notice an increase in the required number of sentences. So uh, we also record a video of phone coaching sessions for training purposes. We publish some of the coaching sessions on our YouTube channel. So if you scroll down, you'll see the link to our YouTube channel. And uh, by the way, during our the coaching session, we inspect your answers one sentence at a time. So you're going to see this when you watch the recordings of the phone coaching sessions. And uh, we would like to avoid publishing our students' private information. So our student means uh, that's you. Please do not include personal info like your complete name and your complete address in your answers. So uh, your first name or your nickname is fine for all the questions. So instead of saying, do not say my name is, give your full name, you can just use your nickname. You can call me, uh, you just say, my name's Kevin, okay? When it comes to the address, you do not say that I live in so-and-so complete address. Just say that I live in Paranaque City or Quezon City or wherever you live. The second example sounds more confident. And this is not just for privacy purposes. This, this shortening of your name and your address, it helps you sound more confident. So... So these are some of the reminders. Follow the one sentence paragraph format. Shorten your sentences. So the, the sentence needs to have only one idea. This is one of the most important. The top two rules will fix 90% of your grammar problems. The third reminder is to write complete sentences. And then the fourth would be to run your answers through a spelling and grammar check program. So I recommend you use Google Docs, and there are other tools that are really great. Uh, one of the tools that I use is Grammarly. It's spelled as G-R-A-M-M-A-R-L-Y, Grammarly. So you can just do a Google search, look for Grammarly, make an account. Just use the free version. You do not need to spend money. You do not need to upgrade. Just use the free version of Grammarly, and you'll be able to find a lot of corrections and recommendations on how to fix your grammar. You know, we use technology to make our, our lives easier. So try it out. Write your ideas manually and then use a spell, spelling and grammar check program like the one on Google Docs and Grammarly. I really love Grammarly. 
um, read your answers aloud before you submit because sometimes you're not sure sometimes the sentence is not complete and it's gonna it's it's going to sound embarrassing you're 90 percent of the problems with the grammar can be figured out just by reading the sentence aloud right if you read the sentence aloud you're more likely to find the errors and you can correct yourself right our job as your instructor is not to correct everything our job is to teach you what you're having a difficult time recognizing or what you're having a difficult time correcting so i have a student who stopped taking the lessons and she eventually just hired me to check her grammar so that student pays me like 500 or so a week just so I can check gra the grammar in her emails at her job and that's perfectly fine with me but it's a lot better if you are able to recognize most of the grammar errors and and then the job would be to just teach you the grammar errors that you miss okay uh, anyway the other solution would be to use simple words so one of the things that i notice back in high school and college is when you get to the end third year fourth year high school and during college english is more exhibition than communication so we use compound and complex sentences long paragraphs and complicated words instead of plain words uh, simple sentences and in this module, I encourage you to follow the one sentence paragraph format. I encourage you to shorten your sentences. I encourage you to use simple words because that will make you sound confident and professional. So if you have any, uh, please re read the lesson Removing Bad Habits as many times as you need the lesson removing bad habits is one of the most valuable lessons that you can get and send us an email if you have any questions but please read removing bad habits and read it slowly and carefully do not just rush to the end do not just try to jump and get to like jump into answering the questions because the goal is not just to answer questions. The goal is not just to get to phone coaching. The goal is for you to understand the basic lessons so you will become more confident at opening your mouth and writing words or typing words. So anyway, so read this first. Please download and read before answering. So this is where you're going to find the link to removing bad habits. And then there's a link here that's, uh, that leads to writing before speaking. Writing before speaking is one of my, um, one of my activities. And then uh, here's a link to my YouTube channel so you can subscribe. And um, so when you begin, uh, oh yeah, I have this sh uh, short video explaining how you can shorten your sentences. So you could just click here and watch this. When you submit your answers, I recommend that you submit your answers using Google Docs. I'll be able to give better feedback on Google Docs because Google Docs has a comments and suggestion feature. So when you use Google Docs, share your answers to our email address. So it's right here. If you have a Google Gmail account, you already have Google Docs. Just head on over to um, there's a link right here and create a new document if you're using a mobile device google docs is available on both iphone and android phones and then i also recorded a short guide on how to use google docs so you can just click here and watch the video so yeah watch the video i i created a video so you do not have to you know if you're not familiar with what i'm talking about like you can see it especially if you're a visual learner this will help I also wrote a Google Docs template to help you format your answers. And then, so just click here to get the template. There are instructions, but before you get the template, please watch the video first. And then if you're stuck, if you're, you can think of what to say, one of my recommendations is to write in Filipino 
and click the link so you can read the lesson. So before the activities, I encounter students who have difficulty describing themselves and so uh, describing themselves, they don't know their strengths, they don't know their weaknesses, they don't know what to talk about. I ask people to take a short personality test and to write some of the things that they discovered about themselves. The personality test will help you um, come up with good words to describe your strengths and weaknesses, especially if you're not familiar with how to describe yourself. If your adjectives are usually normal, ordinary, or, you know, like the usual, you're not used to describing your personality or your attitude or your temperament in detail. This personality test will give you the words that you need to help describe your strengths and weaknesses. And then uh, we're going to proceed to lesson one. We're going to do lesson two. Each of these lessons already have a video, and I'm going to add more videos to the others. Lesson three, there's a video here. Just, just watch the videos, just read the instructions, download the material. Lesson four, I'm going to shoot a video for this. Lesson five, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm also going to record videos for these. Um, lesson six lesson seven and then we go with the final activity when you get to the final activity just read the instructions i also gave a format here i might i i'm also going to add this to our template so yeah just in case you missed the template i put another link to the template here and then for phone coaching here are the rules please send all your answers before uh, scheduling the phone coaching. Send us an email to let us know that you're done with lessons one to seven and your final activity. We will check your answers. If your answers are incomplete, we will ask you to complete the answers. The, uh, so um, I'm go going to share a sample of a phone coaching session. So we will discuss your experience. We'll discuss your grammar and pronunciation on session one. I will point out your errors in the sessions. We record all coaching sessions and share um, or publish some of our sessions. So I have a typo here. I'll fix that later. We'd like to avoid publishing personal information. So I'm going to remind you again, do not put your full name. Please remove complete names from your answers. Please do not include your complete address in your answer. So yeah, there's, there's a video here on um, one of my coaching sessions. So leave a comment on the video to let us know that you, you were done watching the session. And then when you're done with the exercise while you're waiting for a session, there's a video here. Uh, oh, there's a, there's a guide here on how to check your answers. Are you sure if you submitted the right answers? Are there, is there anything wrong with your English? I wrote a guide. Just click here, how to check your answers for errors. And then when you get the chance, subscribe to my uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will help me a lot. And if you're willing to do more work, there are additional reading materials here on week one. And I'm going to add some more. I'm trying to make the lessons as complete as I can. I, I'm trying to give you as, as much knowledge. I'm trying to transfer as much of my knowledge to you so yeah like I want to make sure that you get bang for the buck for whatever you paid for and you know we provide a wealth of information during the coaching and the more questions that you ask the more answers we can give you and we don't always have the time to cover all the questions and sometimes we forget to cover something that you want to know so I recommend that at the end of your answers you list down all of your questions so I can answer all of your questions at the end of the session. Now, here's a typo again. I need to fix that later. So the good news is you receive the benefit other students receive because all of the coaching sessions are recorded. So click the link to watch other sessions and discover the challenges of other people and what solutions we came up with together. So the more you understand about how we solve problems together, 
the better your problem solving skills become as well so the more your problem solving skills get better as you understand how we solve different problems higher level communication skills become available as a consequence of heightened problem solving skills anyway here's a link to access the bonus lessons and then yeah that's that's it for week one so if you have questions just send us a message please watch this video and please read the please read the text of the the instructions because we are going to update this and yeah thank you so much for thank you for so much for joining our lessons and check your email we we will be sending some announcements so be sure that you check your email uh, regularly because like we have some goodies in store for you thank you so much for enrolling in our english lessons and yeah like i look forward to practicing with you good luck thank you